morning everyone we are at a new place called the keith hill forest in grafton massachusetts so i'm really excited to go check out this place and what a difference from last week when it was negative four wind chill and today it is 32 degrees it's a little bit misty out so let's check out this place so this trail is in the gas line area all our snow melted from last week Whoa, I don't have my ice cleats on. That's slippery right there. Here's a nice swampy area that's frozen over. Bet there'll be a lot of frogs here in the springtime. This is really pretty. I'm not hearing any traffic noise out here. This is wonderful. Here's some wintergreen, also called tea berry. And there's its little berry. We have some beautiful moss. That's hair cap moss and some pixie cups lichen. Oh, I hear the tufted titmouse. They're such cute birds. I always love exploring new trails. Oh, it's more rocks we're walking down here. Awesome. Ooh, I love this right here. There's an oak gall. This is false turkey tail. Look at that color, it's gorgeous. Hopefully this isn't slippery. All right, I'm gonna shut my camera off. This is when All Trails app comes in really handy. We have a choice of three trails. Hello, awesome rocks. So obviously we're gonna go up that way. That's where Chris is. And I wonder if this is the return path. Let's go exploring. This section of the trail has markers. So this is blocked off. I'm assuming that this was an old well. So I'm not sure if this was a foundation. Who knows? Love all this moss. So I'm sure this is all from the rain we've been getting. Hello, beech tree. I love that they keep their leaves all winter long. Isn't that gorgeous? This is ground cedar, also called flan, flan, fan club moss. I always like to see stone walls. And up here, is the boundary for the conservation restriction for mass DCR. This is one of my favorites. Its nickname is Princess Pine. They look like little pine trees growing in the forest floor. When you're walking through this area, we're like on the edge of the Parker Preserve and the Matcomer land. It's very muddy in spots. Hopefully this isn't uh, slippery going up this. That is a little slippery, Chris. We're also on the border of, I'm not sure how to say this, Hassa name set. <laughs> I probably messed that up. I know we've been in this particular woodlands, probably not down this particular section though. This is a yellow birch. I like how it peels like this. I'm really enjoying this place. I love being in the woods. So you've really got to keep an eye on the All Trails map out here because there's some shoots that go off to the side. We took a few of those and had to beetle back. Hello there, white pine tree. Here we have brocade moss, nicknamed feather moss. It does look like little feathers. Sort of looks like little ferns too, but they're really small. We've been here in this stream as we've been walking through the woodlands. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Let's get closer. Oh no, I slipped and my camera hit the ground when the lens was out. Oh gosh, I hope my camera's going to be all right. So that is the noise that my camera's making and the lens didn't get stuck out. Right at the moment, it's not showing the error message. Oh boy, I'm bummed out. This is an old camera. I think I probably had it like maybe eight years. I'm not really sure, but it's a Nikon Coolpick S9900. I've been very happy with this camera. And unfortunately, it is broken. I'm going to have to get a new smaller camera. It's just going to even... Yeah, that's a terrible sound. Oh boy. Well, I hate to have to spend all this money to get a new camera, but what are you going to do? I like this one. So my husband said, not to worry, but I hate to have to spend money because I dropped the camera from slipping down on a rock. It's zooming out all by itself, too. Wow, 
Well, thanks for a lot of great years, Nikon camera. You served me well. Why is this blurry? I'm not sure how easy this is going to be to get across. Well, that was interesting. I didn't like doing that. The rocks were slippery. My goodness. If there's like a trail cam out here, I probably gave somebody a good laugh. I'm really bummed out that my camera's broken. And another stream. This one will be easy to cross. I shouldn't say that because I slipped on a rock not too long ago. Chris just noticed this on the stick. It's coral spots. They're really tiny. This is crowded parchment. They're very small too. Pretty color. Here's another shell fungi. Not sure which one, but I've never seen this one. It's like a whitish, creamy gray color. Here's a lifer Chris just found. This is brown tooth crust fungus. As Chris was saying, it feels like deer antlers. And here's more of that crowded parchment. I'm enjoying finding all these different things on a winter walk. We're back at the gas line. So I'm not sure how far we have to go, but I was like walking gas lines and high tension wires. You get to see a lot of insects and birds in the summer and springtime, but unfortunately we're seeing a bunch of trash up here. Come on, people. You don't need to do that. We really enjoyed our walk at the Keith Hill Forest in South Grafton, Massachusetts. You enter in a neighborhood by the gas lines. We never would have found this place without All Trails app. You do enter a few other preserves along the way. I'll put those names down in the description. It's not a very long walk, 2.8 miles. Pardon my voice, I caught a cold over the weekend. Mm -hmm.